In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up and run suspension hepatocyte incubations for metabolism studies. These commonly include compound stability and metabolite identification assays, but can also be modified for inhibition and reaction phenotyping studies. This is a general protocol and can be modified based on your lab's needs, but it offers a good starting point for those that do not have a lot of experience using primary hepatocytes and suspension for these assays. For these assays, we recommend using standard 24 well tissue culture plates, incubation medium pre warmed to 37 degrees Celsius, a micro pipette set with multi channel pipetters, tips, reagent reservoirs, tissue culture incubator set to 37 degrees Celsius, plate rockers, and a stop solution. As a general overview of the protocol, hepatocyte incubations are typically carried out in 24 well plates in a 250 microliter volume. Each incubation contains 250,000 viable hepatocytes and each plate is used for a single time point of the assay and contains multiple treatments. Typical time points are 0, 10, 30, 60, and 120 minutes. Incubations can be carried out to 240 minutes, however many times 120 minutes is enough. Each treatment group should be run in triplicate, meaning each treatment group will use three wells in each plate per time point. We use this experimental design versus one large incubation volume, whereupon various time points are taken from the same well or where each time point for each treatment is on the same plate. The advantage of the protocol that is described today does not expose the incubations to temperature shifts while you collect samples from the large volume, and it minimizes potential experimental variability due to imprecise sampling. For example, if you take various time points from a single incubation, extra care needs to be taken to ensure that the cells are homogeneously suspended in the medium before you take the sample to ensure that the remaining hepatocytes are equal across all treatments. To get the assay started, label each plate with the time point and treatment groups. Next, prepare incubation medium containing the test articles. When making the test articles stock, you will need to take care to make them in a way that when added to the incubation, the organic solvent does not exceed 0.1% of the final incubation volume. Sometimes this is unavoidable due to solubility challenges of the test article, but if you cannot stay under 0.1%, be sure to use the same concentration in your vehicle control wells to account for any potential interference from the organic solvent. You will want to dilute enough test article to be able to load each well with 150 microliters of test article in incubation medium. For example, if you have four time points with each treatment in triplicate, you will need approximately two mils of medium with test article. Pre-plate the test article in the wells and place the plates in 37 degrees Celsius incubator. After the plates are loaded and placed in the incubator, begin thawing the hepatocytes. In this demonstration, we will start with the hepatocytes already thawed and diluted to a density of 2.5 million cells per mil in incubation medium. These assays commonly use pooled hepatocyte lots, and BioYVT offers pooled hepatocytes in two distinct cryopreservation formats, liver pool and cryostacks. These pools contain a wide range of donors that can contain as little as two individual donors all the way up to 200 donors. Because each format uses specialized thaw protocols and reagents, we will not review hepatocyte thawing, but additional videos demonstrating hepatocyte thawing can be found at bioivt.com. For the zero time point, we would recommend adding the stop solution to the plates prior to the addition of the hepatocytes. This will lead to the lysis of the cells immediately upon addition and inhibit any metabolism of the test article. This is especially advantageous if the test article is metabolized very quickly and in some cases, the stop solution cannot be added fast enough to stop the incubation before some metabolism occurs. Once the cells are thawed and the plates are prepared, the incubation can be started. With the cells in a cell reservoir and a multi-channel micropipette, load 100 microliters of diluted cells into each well containing medium with test compound or with the vehicle controls. Once the plates are loaded with cells, move those plates into a tissue culture incubator and rock at approximately 150 RPMs. At each time point, remove the appropriate plate from the incubator and use a multi-channel pipette to add one volume of stop solution to the incubation wells. This will stop all metabolism in the wells and is commonly referred to as crashing the incubation. Transfer the contents of the crashed wells into a deep well mass spec plate or storage container that is commonly used in your lab. Once all the samples are collected from all the time points, spin the plate at 920 times G for 10 minutes at 10 degrees Celsius. This will separate protein that precipitated during the cell lysis and allow for a clean transfer of solubilized sample for analysis. 
This protocol is a good starting point for optimization of suspension hepatocyte incubations in your lab. These assays are very versatile and can be modified and tailored to best fit the needs of your lab and the experimental design.